Hi, this is Kurt Hollowell. I'm here to do another little demo on our mesh tracer tool. Uh, one of my friends uh, asked me to do kind of a short and sweet demo. I know the other one posted is like 20 minutes long. <laughs> so uh, after watching this one, I do recommend you go check the other one out. It goes into a lot of very detailed information about um, pretty much everything in the tool and how to use it. But this one will just be short and sweet. Um, and so I'm going to start by going to the mesh tracer directory, um, examples, and go into the random scene. So if you load that scene, it should look like this. And uh, if you hit play, you should see all these cool effects um, pop up. So there's just a bunch of, um, just a large variety of effects. So let's say we just want to take one of these effects and apply it to our own model that we bring in. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So um, under this directory, assets, mesh tracer, examples, tree, I have another model that I'm going to use in this example, this tree model. So we're going to take one of these effects that's on one of these spheres and apply it onto this tree. So I'm just going to move the tree kind of more where I want it. That's about where I, where I want it. And um, let's go ahead and pick the effect that was up here. And um, you can see the um, all these spheres are organized into three groups, top row, middle row, and bottom row. Um, so I'm going to go to the top row and the first one here and take this vertex particle script and right click the script like you saw there and hit copy and then I'm going to go on to my tree model. So now, um, if you're not necessarily familiar with Unity, you might notice that when I expand this, this tree model has like a million um, parts, uh, little sub-models. Whoever modeled this tree modeled all these leaves and grouped them in separate parts when they're exported. Um, they all came together separately, and you can also see that each one of these has a mesh renderer script attached to it, but this top one does not have a mesh renderer script attached to it. The mesh renderer is just saying that this object actually has the mesh data. Um, it has all the triangle and, and vertex points and all that. So that's what we need to paste this script that we're going to use onto something that has a mesh renderer onto it. That's kind of the only requirement. If we don't, if we just paste it here, for example, then nothing will happen. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it to the trunk. Uh, so you can also just right click and say paste component is new. And then um, since this model has a ton of vertices, what I'm going to do is just adjust this a little bit so we get a little better performance. Like maybe we'll just set it to 0.25. That should be enough. Um, and what I'm also going, and that means it's only going to play the effect on a fourth of the vertices. Also, what I'm going to do so we can see our tree is just turn off um, these other effects in the background. So now let's hit play and see if this thing works. So there you go. You can see that effect that was on the top left sphere here got applied to that tree. Let's go ahead and see it that when it was on the sphere. I'm going to turn the tree off. And you know what? I'll leave the tree on and just turn that one other sphere on. Okay, sorry. There we go. Okay, so now we have one sphere with a vertex particle script attached to it and the trunk of the tree with the same script attached to it. So let's go ahead and see what's happening there. You can see both of them are glowing. Now on the sphere I have some other stuff like a little rotate script so that's why it's moving around but you can see they're both emitting the same particles and they're doing it in the same way. So that's really what I wanted to show is that uh, if you just want to get your hands on the tool quick and dirty you can take one of these effects find one of these scripts, either the vertex particles script, and some of them have a, um, a vertex tracer script or a triangle tracer. You see this one has a triangle tracer or um, 
vertex, some of them have vertex tracers, but those are the three, and you can, whichever one you like, you can attach it to your model. Um, yeah, and then if you're looking for more detailed information, such as what uh, all these other parameters do, please check out the other tutorial. It talks about all the scripts and um, goes into a lot more detail about all these different things. Alright, I hope you like the tool and uh, have fun making some awesome stuff. Catch you later.